tell by looking at it, but the Jeep Wrangler has undergone a transformation. The iconic shape remains, but Jeep has made huge improvements to the off-roader for 2012. Jeep invited us to drive the 2012 Wrangler on the Rubicon, one of the hardest 4x4 trails around, used almost exclusively by modified vehicles. But of course, we also got to drive on two-lane asphalt roads. The previous Iron Block 3.8 liter V6 put out 202 horsepower and 237 pound-feet of torque. The all-aluminum Pentastar has 285 horses and 260 pound-feet. And while the six-speed manual returns unchanged, the four-speed automatic has been ditched in favor of the Grand Cherokee's five-speed automatic. We started out with on-road driving. The route included elevation changes and sudden large openings in traffic that gave us opportunities to test out the Pentastar's acceleration. The new engine offers excellent response and a noticeable improvement in power. It's also significantly faster from a stop and when passing. The trail is in one of the most beautiful parts of the country. It cuts through an evergreen forest and runs up and over the Sierras. The terrain varies from slick granite to dirt dotted with rocks to massive boulders that require highly technical driving to traverse or go around. The trail is known for changing year to year, but the conditions were especially tough this time around. Despite the challenges, all the Jeeps survived. The new engine and transmission worked well, and even though peak torque is now at a higher RPM, there was no noticeable difference when off-roading at low speeds. Jeep's goal with this latest version of the Wrangler is to make the vehicle more refined and better on a day-to-day -day basis, without sacrificing the JK's off-road ability. The new Wrangler stays true to the model's roots, but now it's a lot more fun to drive on the road.